Hello Aquarians, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in May. This reading will be for all of the Aquarians out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you feel like you connect with this reading, and you want to show some support to this channel, hit that subscription link along with the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted. Also, hit that thumbs up image to help the video circulate. And if you need something more private, more detailed and specific to your situation, the link for personal readings will be posted in the description box below the video. Okay? All right. Okay, there we go. I do have openings for personal readings. So again, check the description box below for personal readings. All right, so let's see. We have starting you off overall energy is mask. So some of you may be wearing a mask at this point in time. Some of you may not be showing your feelings or letting others know what's on your mind. Letting them know that you may be feeling alone in whatever it is that you're doing. Or you just you may be just feeling alone or going through something on your own without anyone knowing about it. But I'm seeing that you Aquarians are not letting people in on what's going on with you. I feel like you're working on something by yourself that, um, again, you're not really expressing things. Um, it could be because your person, you can't open up to this person. Um, you two are not on the same page. They don't see things the way you see. And it, it, if you allow them into a certain space it's going to cause some type of heartbreak arguing bickering back and forth maybe nitpicking and you don't want to go through that i feel like you love this person could be a virgo but i feel like you withdraw your energy from them or you're withdrawn from them because you need more clarity about um what's going on pertaining to yourself you need clarity and need to be focused on yourself at this time it's like you don't really have time for them and their nonsense okay so some of you this person may be trying to get your attention while you're making a decision to put an end to something so that something new can begin in your life some of you may be dealing with the scorpio and some of you may be going through some type of life transition or transformation some of you are thinking about moving let me know in the comment section if, if this is you but i do see a new beginning coming in doing something that you love or with someone that you love i do see a new beginning here okay so let's see what else comes out for the sign of aquarius okay ten of cups so some of you you are either with someone or you're going to meet someone okay some of you are in a home some of you are with someone i feel like you you have a family with this person possibly children this person could be a capricorn or sagittarius someone here is toxic or have toxic ways they're a manipulator they overindulge in things they have addictions this person like i said before or uh, how to, what the car said is this person is argumentative there's someone here likes to argue is what i'm hearing and it causes things to become unbalanced and i feel like you're losing patience with this person and with the chariot card cancer energy this person is making you feel like you want to move on from them some of you want to move on from this person if you're ready to move on from your person let me know yeah look at this they're causing you to feel overwhelmed. Some of you may be sneaking off to see someone else. 
but, or someone here is sneaking off to see someone else, but I'm seeing this person causes you to feel overwhelmed. They want you, if they make you feel like you want to pack your bags and go. But you too may have finances. Like there may be some type of responsibilities that you have tied together and you can't just walk away. Again, some of you have children with this person. But this person is a pain in the ass from what I see. Yeah, and I feel like with the high priestess, some of you are just taking that time out to hear, to listen to your higher self, to listen to your consciousness because you don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to overcome the obstacles because I'm someone I feel like this person gets on your damn nerves and you're like I know my worth you're sitting on your throne okay I know my worth I know what I bring to the table I know who I am and I don't have to put up with this nonsense okay and again you're ready to walk away because you're disappointed in their actions and you want to move towards peace and harmony you're ready to move on to something smooth, peace and harmony. And you feel like you planted seeds with this person and you do love them and you're committed to them. But they're getting on your damn nerves. Someone here is getting on your nerves. It's like a um they someone here likes to argue. This person likes to argue. Picking a fight. So I feel like it's a wish fulfillment for you to stabilize this union and to have a new passionate beginning but this is in a, this is like i feel like this won't be coming until this person changed their ways and if it's not this person some of you have a new love coming in there's someone new coming in because again we have this energy of this person nitpicking they may be like um Starting arguments and then coming back, apologizing, telling you that they love you. I don't know why. I feel like someone here picks arguments, right? And then after they pick an argument, once they engage you, that lets them make that. Okay, if you argue back with them, that makes them feel like you love them more. Like some people like to argue to test to see if their person how see how their person is going to respond because it makes them feel like you love them more that's that's what i mean but again this person is someone here aquarius this could be you this person is causing you to be up at night feeling anxious you're overwhelmed because you want to walk away but i feel like you're holding yourself back from not walking away right now because it may not be the right time it could be because you're still transitioning or going through some time type of transformation some of you have not found a, a home but there is emotional distance here between you and your person with the world card could be a taurus a scorpio a leo or another aquarius there's emotional distance here okay so you two may be sleeping in two different rooms living in two different homes two different cities two different states I see emotional distance due to the fact that this person likes to argue. I feel like you're being strong, but you're just ready for things to start moving. Okay? You're ready for things to start moving forward before this person makes you come out of yourself. Yeah. See, you've blocked them. You closed off your heart chakra to them. Because, again... This person wants someone that they can argue with. And you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not, um, you're not giving them the time or the day. <clears throat> okay. So Aquarians, this is your reading for the energy in May. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, like, peace and healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you next time. Bye.